Hi folks, welcome to Inside PTI. Today we're gonna to talk about furrow force and how we're using furrow force in both automatic and manual control settings. So for those of you that, are, that aren't familiar with furrow force, we've got a new dual stage, a two stage system that has sensors on it. And we can sense as we're traveling through planning and we can get that perfect closing situation for us on every square inch of the, of the field that we're planning. So here's a video of how furrow force works. Now the first two blades you'll see in front is the first stage. And what this first stage is designed to do is lift and fracture the sidewalls. Now the sidewalls are from the openers that came in and made that true V. We plant the seed in the bottom of the true V, but the openers come in and make the walls, if you will. And so this first stage is designed just to lift and fracture those sidewalls, blow them out, make it look like we were never ever there. Now, the little wheel you see in the back, that's our second stage, and what it's designed to do is to push the air pocket out. You see, this is a problem with closing systems that we've been using for the last 10, 20, 30 years. They're static settings, they're side by side, and they cannot lift and fracture and push the air pocket out at the same time. They can maybe do one, but they can't do both. So we created a closing system that says, you know what, the first stage, your only, your only job is to lift and fracture the sidewall. That's it, thank you for what you've done, but that's what you're, you're designed to do. Then the second stage, only remove the air pocket, push that air pocket out. That's how we set the system up. You see that first stage lifting and fracturing and blowing those sidewalls out. You can kind of see it just kind of zippering it out. And then that back stage, that second stage, pressing down, getting rid of that air pocket. But the whole time, we have the ability to have sensors and we can control the pressure to keep this thing in the ground to do a good job of closing that furrow. So it's all about real time measuring, reacting and controlling. And when we're sitting in that tractor cab and we're planting, we can look at the 2020 and we can, in, you know, in real time, get readings from our planner, from our furrow for saying how good of a job are we doing closing the trench. Now, there's the, the, the sensoring ability that I mentioned. You know, we've got that. It's, it's kind of similar to maybe what you folks are using with Delta Force, you know, sensing to keep that row unit in the ground. We're pushing down, we're lifting up to get the right down force scenario. We're doing the same thing with furrow force, keeping this thing in the ground, making sure we don't lose ground contact because if that happens, we're definitely not able to lift and fracture and push the air pocket out in that scenario. So we're running an airbag in the back that allows us to push down or we lift, push down or lift based on conditions that are changing throughout the field, but we're reacting. We're taking control of this thing and making sure we have the right setting as we plant. Now you can buy furrow force and put it on your planner in one of two ways. You can go in the automated mode like we've been talking about here, or you can go in a manual operation mode. And either way is fine. Manual is gonna be a little bit cheaper, but the thing you're gonna have to do with manual is you're gonna have to change it to get the right setting. So you're gonna have to know what's happening in the field to move this thing and get it in the, in the correct position. So in automated mode, Furrow force is very similar to Delta force where you can go to the 2020 and you can put it in automatic light, standard, or heavy, okay? But we can go into manual as well and you can tell it how many pounds of pressure that we need to be applying with furrow force. But again, you're gonna have to manually do that and know where to, where to, to put that setting at. So this year, knowing that some folks were gonna run furrow force in both manual and automatic, I said, I wanna test them side by side. And so in the automated um, capacity, you know, I'm running light, standard, and heavy, but then I'm doing a manual pass in each of those same settings across the field. So for example, this first data set I'm looking at, it's furrow force automatic in the light setting of 15 pounds, and then I set it manual 15 pounds side by side. So I'm running automatic, and then I'm running manual side by side and manual got beat by 4.1 bushel in that scenario, okay? But that's in an automatic light, 15 pounds compared to manual at 15 pounds. Let's go to standard. Manual got beat by 4.8 bushel, and this is 35 pounds, the setting on the 2020 monitor. We go to heavy, and it was too heavy a setting for both of them, but about a two bushel spread. 
The point I'm trying to make is in every setting, the light, standard, and heavy, the automatic setting beat the manual setting every single time. Okay, almost five bushel to a two bushel spread. You look at the dollar values of this and we're running anywhere from $18 on the high side to $7 on the low side, but that's an average of $13.50 an acre by going automatic versus manual. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is at the PTI farm, you know, we've learned that the ability to sense and to measure give us the ability to react. This reaction lets us take control and change planter settings to make sure that that planter is in fact performing correctly. Using furrow force in automatic sense and control mode versus manual mode, it resulted in economic gains of over $13 a the acre. That adds up pretty quickly. So again, we, we know growers are gonna be running in both automatic and manual mode, and we wanna do these side-by-side -side tests to show the differences. Either way, this system will work well. It's just in a manual mode, you're gonna to have to work a little harder to understand the system and know how to set it. If you've got any questions about furrow force in an automated or manual uh, platform, reach out to your Precision Planning Premier dealer. They'd love to talk with you some more about it or send us an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com and we'll, we'll get you an answer right away. That's all the time we have for today. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI.